welcome back to Reagan's Reads. Today, I am completely reorganizing our bookshelf. We have so many books and games and Funko Pops on this giant shelf from Ikea that's in our living room, and it's just become a little bit too messy to look at. My husband has some really cool Funko Pops, and so I'm going to take out all of the Funko Pops that are hidden behind the books and bring out some of the cooler, more expensive collectible pieces or just some of his favorites. I don't know how it is for you guys where you live, but for us here in England, we've been in lockdown for five months. And although things have opened up and we're able to leave um, our house and our city and travel around the UK, um, we're still not back in work. And so we reorganized our house and painted furniture and just completely remodeled everything about seven times. So this bookshelf reorganization, I've done this uh, maybe nine times and I know that's crazy but just boredom sets in and I just like looking at all of my books so much so I just kind of play around with them but primarily this is what I wanted to see happen was bringing out more of our cool pieces and not just showing everything we have. My husband is a Funko Pop in the box collector, so everything has to be in pristine condition for him. And these really cool pieces, like from Hot Topic and Box Lunch, you can't find here in the UK. So I want to make sure that I display them really nicely for him and not just have them shoved away in this bottom corner. Like the Alien and the Scooby Doo cereal, those boxes are really cool, and those are his. That's his favorite movie, Toy Story, and his favorite show growing up was Scooby Doo. So I need to make sure that he can see that. During quarantine, I don't know what it is, but I have become obsessed with puzzles and I've become like such a puzzle snob. I want the coolest puzzles with the best quality and I've learned that Gibson's in the UK um, is really good for a puzzle brand and they were really hard to find at the beginning of quarantine. They were all sold out. I think that we all just went crazy like with toilet paper and hand sanitizer. We also went crazy with puzzles because it has been a struggle to try and find them. But now that things are a little bit more back to normal, my husband got me this puzzle and gave it to me today. It's the early birthday present just to give me a treat, which is awesome. And my birthday's not even for another nine weeks, so I don't know. He was just being really sweet, but I have four more puzzles I need to do. I'm just gonna quickly spritz down the shelves, wipe off any dust that's collected. This is the Calix shelf from Ikea. We got for only 90 quid or 120 US dollars. I'll leave a link in the description bar of where you can get it. But this is such a great shelf. It's sturdy. I love that there are different slots. There are 25, so I can really like separate my genres and bits and it doesn't look overcrowded. Plus each slot is like 20 inches deep. So it fits a full board game and nothing's sticking out. I love this. I got this for Christian from Target when we were in America for Christmas, visiting my family and having our American wedding. And it's the office Lego. We got the last one at Target um, near us. I know that there's some bonus um, little figurines, like I think Pam's one of them. So I do need to find that. I would love for him to have the complete collection because we love this so, so much. We love the office. It actually may not look like I own that many books, and that's because I've only been living here in the UK for not even two years. So the books that you do see here are ones that I've acquired while living in the UK, and most of my books are at my parents' house in America. I have a huge collection, but I obviously can't bring those all over here. My parents do ship me some of my books that I don't want to have to buy again, because I just don't like to spend that money when I know I already have the book that I want. But those books that are cool UK covers, um, I do buy those because I just like owning multiple copies of my favorite books, especially if I love a foreign edition. And it's so cool that I'm now able to get books in the UK. And I can also order, I know this is sneaky, I order the special editions of my favorite books, like from the Carnival series. I get those shipped from Barnes & Noble to my mom's house. So when I do go over to visit like at Christmas or just to hang out and see family in the states i actually own the copies i want and i don't have to pay the exorbitant amount of shipping that i normally would have to pay but that's just a bonus of being able to call two countries your home i guess 
Personally, I visually love things that are organized in rows, so I've made our top row dedicated to Game of Thrones, the middle one to Lord of the Rings, and then this bottom one that I'm showing you on screen to my fantasy books with the Throne of Glass series in the middle. I actually only got halfway through this series. I'm doing a video soon about why that is, and it's, I'll tell you right now, it's because I suffered a major head trauma and was not able to read a book for two years, and I forgot this whole series. Like, I remember the main character's name, and I know that it was one of my favorite series I've ever read, so I really need to get going on it again and start from the beginning. You can see here, I just keep changing things around. I really like when books are stacked horizontally and vertically, but I find it difficult on the shelf to do that because I have too many books and I can't really display them all in a neat and organized way. And so I end up kind of just changing it around so much. When I'm cleaning like this, I always need to have music on, I put on Spotify, and I light a candle, and I want to share with you these matches that I use. These were wedding favors at our English wedding um, last October that my dad made for us, and they say, um, they say the perfect match, and they have our initials on it and a US and UK flag, and that's because we matched on Tinder, <laughs> and that's how we met, and so my dad made these matches, which is so cute, and we have boxes left over because he just made tons. I guess he panicked, and when he flew across to England, he just packed a whole suitcase full of <laughs> matches, I guess, so we have tons of them, and I really love them. They're so sweet, and they're such a cool thing to have around the house. Let me know if you have any really cute thing that you keep in your house that's just special and you just have out from your wedding or engagement or just like a special date with your significant other because matches are everywhere in our house and they're, they're just so cute and they just, I don't know, there's just that detail that I like to have out on our table and I like to light them when I'm reading at night and just have them on while I'm cleaning. I changed my mind organizing this shelf so many times. It took me hours and I think it took me longer to organize this shelf because I kept changing my mind. It just really wasn't happy with how things are looking. Plus, I don't like that you can see like behind the books and I have to make two rows and that's because we just don't have the space to store them anywhere else because our apartment living room isn't that big so I'm forced to like do double rows and as long as it looks nice I'm fine with it I would like to one day have a giant library like any other readers that I don't have to double stack but I do stack and just bring out the pieces that I love like my favorite books to the front so that I'm looking at things that I like. While I was doing this, Christian quickly whipped up a nice dinner and we wanted to get this done fast because it was approaching like 10 o'clock and so I'd been at this for hours and we really wanted to finish off the last Harry Potter movie because we've been binging them over the last week or so and so we just wanted to get in bed and chill. I am a huge Harry Potter fan, so I'm gonna post a video comparing the books and the movies in a ranking order soon. The Funko Pops that I'm putting out on display on our main shelf are not the only ones we have. We actually have two glass cabinets and then a bottom cabinet on the opposite side of the living room full of Funko Pops. and. We also collect Monopolies, and <laughs> these are some really cool ones. We got a Scotland version when we toured Scotland for our honeymoon, and my other favorite is the Lou version that we got when we went to Paris to my family last summer. So after like four hours of doing this because my camera kept dying, it's finally, finally done, and you can kind of see what it looks like as a whole in the back. Um, this is in our living room in our apartment um, here in England, so we don't have the most space that we would like, but I think with what we have, um, we were able to get rid of some stuff and to kind of organize things a little bit better and keep our um, favorite fandom items out on display. I put all of his games in alphabetical order because he's so OCD about that. I'm actually the opposite. I love to have things in categories. Like you'll notice all my fantasy books are together, then all my historical fiction are together. But with his games, he needs to have everything by alphabetical order. So I did that for him. 
Thank you so much for watching you guys and a special thank you to any of you who have come over from my bookstagram account that really means a lot to me. I'm so excited to be here on booktube and on bookstagram. I absolutely love this platform and I love bookstagram so much. It's such an awesome welcoming community and I just love being able to talk about nerdy things like books and organizing my bookshelves with other people who also do that. So it really means a lot. If you did like this video, please support my channel by hitting the bell icon so you can know when I upload new videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday and hit that like button. It would really mean a lot to me. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh my gosh, it's like two hours later and I just came out here notice that this is not going in high order even though these are hardbacks next to hardbacks. <laughs> it just really bothers me. So I think I need to move this because my OCD is that things have to be in height order and I've been like that ever since I was like three years old so that oh, that's so much better